Today's the big day. Today is the due date for the mangrove snake eggs that we have. So have they pipped yet? Nope, they haven't pipped. Okay, that doesn't surprise me. Our last clutch of mangroves never hatched, so we cut them after it was like weeks after they were due, and the babies were fully formed, just stuck in the eggs. And I think the problem is these eggshells are too thick for the babies to slice their way out of them. So I don't know if it's something we're doing or what, but we're going to actually cut these eggs before they start pipping because they are due. We've been counting the days. And so we're gonna cut them and see if there's babies inside. Before we begin, we are very excited to announce that our warehouse is now fully stocked with reptile supplies so you can get all of your reptile care needs at snakediscoverystore.com. We carry substrate, gecko diet, more gecko diet, oh no, I'm not ready yet, basking bulbs, UVB bulbs, multivitamin, calcium powders, decor, heat mats, heat panels, thermostats, and so much more. Plus we have tons of snake discovery oh. merch. We have some of the best online prices around and you get free shipping for orders over $100. All orders are packed up right here at the Snake Discovery Warehouse by our dedicated staff. Jerry, are you slacking off again? What is it with you and mukbang videos recently? Get back to work. And for the month of March, use the code WATERBOTTLE at checkout to get a free Snake Discovery water bottle for purchases over $10 while supplies last. Jerry, you can't eat the products. Jerry, stop it. Your support helps us rescue reptiles through our Adoption Island program, just like these two here, all while you get what you need for your reptiles at home. Just go to snakediscoverystore.com to get what you need today. Oh my gosh, I am kind of nervous for this because I don't want to cut them too early, but I also don't want to wait until it's too late and they drown in their own fluids. So today's the day they should be pipping according to, you know, our calculations from our last clutch and our research online. So this should be right. Look at that. They're just all in one clump together. Yeah. So if I remember correctly, last time they cut up here, which makes sense that they would cut near the top, even though they've been laid like vertically. So we are going to cut them up here today. Listen Listen to this. That is a hard shell. Jeez, no wonder they can't cut their way out. Yeah, I wonder if they're supposed to or if it's we're maybe incubating them too dry. Maybe, I guess that could be. Maybe they're not wet enough. Man, it's like I have to chip away the eggshell. Oh, oh, okay, that looks good. Good looking fluid. Yep. I think I have enough of a window to be able to open this flap. Let's take a look. Oh, apparently I cut a little too shallowly. Is there something in here? What is that? What's in there? I definitely see a vein, so they're fertile and developing, I yeah. would I would assume. Should I just like put the cap back on mm -hmm. and then when it's ready to come out, it'll just like push it off? You could. Maybe, should I do the rest then? Sure. Okay. Oh, that one looks good too. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have another cap off. Let's take a look. Same kind of thing. That is so bizarre. I like, there's like a film underneath the eggshell that's blocking our view of the baby underneath. So I guess I'll just, again, put this back on. So now there's an exit at least. Yep. And we'll keep going. Okay, egg number three. Same thing, just a, a blob in there. Probably a baby underneath. Yep. Okay, and last egg. I'm assuming the same thing. Just some blob of yolk, I think. But veins hmm. in all of them. Yeah. So they're all fertile and I would assume developing because these eggs still look great. So maybe I'll just bury them a little bit further. And rehydrate the perlite and then throw them back into incubation. Yeah, exactly. That's what we'll do. Okay, back in the incubator, I guess. Yes. We'll see. Okay, it's been like probably two weeks since we cut these mangrove eggs and this is what we've got. I don't know what to do. So it was kind of an experiment to cut them prematurely, or actually what I thought was on time, it was an experiment anyway. But I don't know, I mean, that looks bad of course, but the rest of these eggs, other than the topmost part, look pretty good. So I guess I will just keep incubating them. Incubate until there's no debate, right? We'll see what happens if we give them a bit more time. Let's check on these mangrove eggs again. I'm pretty sure this is just gonna go in the failed videos. But... Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, they hatch. Oh my God, they're hatching. Look at your head. Huh, what? Oh my god, I didn't kill him! Hi! What the heck? It's been like, how long has it been? Okay, I just checked. It's been a month and a half since we cut these eggs and then they started molding on the top. But, but the eggs themselves didn't seem to go bad. They still felt right, so I figured we'd still incubate and oh my gosh, I'm so glad we did! Holy cow, we have maker babies! What, this is insane! Oh my gosh, okay, I have them on my desk now. <gasps> 
Hi. Hi, babies. Look at you. Okay, so we have four eggs. We've got one, two, three heads. A lot of body, but they are just long body. Oh, you guys are a little bit dehydrated. Okay. I admittedly haven't checked on these eggs in about, I don't know, 10, 14 days because I had given up on them in all honesty, but if there's one still hatching, that tells me they haven't been out for very long. But here, have some water. Have some water. Rehydrate yourselves. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they hatched. This is insane. Hello. Oh, you've got cool like orange stripes down your body. You look great. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna just let them chill until that last one comes out. But the eggs, I guess, are already cut, so we don't have to do that anymore. So no, 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 stay here, stay here, stay here. You guys are so cute, but you have to go back in the incubator until your last sibling hatches. Okay, so last sibling hatch from your eggs. Oh my gosh, there's the tail wiggle. Ah ha 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 ha, I forgot they did that. Yeah, look at this. I had literally put the uh, a mangrove egg cutting clips into a folder that I call failed or abandoned videos because they just didn't go anywhere. So they were right here and now, now, now they hatch. This is crazy. Eee, babies, I wonder if they all came out. Did you all come out of your eggs? We're gonna take a close look in a second. But for now, Ed is here. Take a look at what hatched, finally. We didn't have anything. Wait, what? Yeah. How did those. these hatch? I know, they came out. The, they decided they did want to hatch. They were, they were like, there was like foam on the top. I know, yeah, we cut them and then they like grew mold and then, what was it, like a month and a half later, Yeah. they decided to hatch now. Weird. Yeah, well, well, welcome to the earth, little dudes. Are there four of them that you can see? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four heads. One, two, three, One's got four. a super thick belly. He's got some yolk inside of him. Oh, Look at that. Yes, he does. Oh, come here, babies. I'm gonna steal one. How did those hatch? I don't know. Oh, look at you. Look at oh, your little so yellow. stripes. Oh my goodness, you're going crazy. You're gonna must. Going bananas. Going bananas. Look at him go bananas. Oh my gosh. No, he's going bananas. I think I'm gonna go bananas. I'm just diving right in. You guys have already seen them, so I don't have to like build this up at all. I just want to hold the baby mangroves. Oh, they're so pearly. Oh, they are. One, two, three. Oh, you've got oh, like a scab on your nose. Weird. Look at that one. Oh, weird. Yeah, I don't Maybe know. Maybe what... he scratched himself on the way out of the Maybe. Oh, he's actually like reddish too. Yeah, he is. So he which... got those reddish uh, hues instead of the bright yellows. He does. And then we have another baby over here. Look at all these guys. I'm gonna rinse them off. I think. Okay. They're all rinsed off. We kind of just rinsed them off into that. Yeah. So that's all. It's you can't bit, put them back in there anymore. Yeah, it's a bit flooded now. But look at them! They're clean! Oh, hi guys! Look at these ginormous heads on baby snakes! So these are also called cat-eyed snakes, by the way, because they have really big eyes, and they are super cute as a result. So they have giant eyes. You can't because... really see them, because they're so black. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean... Oh, there we go. Turn that one's head up a little bit again. There we go. There's an eyeball. Oh, you can see it's it there? big eyeball. Yeah, it helps Googly them see. Eyes. Helps them see at night, so there's there's a reason for them having such Aren't big eyes. lizard eaters? These are bird eaters. Bird eaters? Yes, so these eat a lot of birds in the wild and we feed their parents chicks. Although the babies we try to get eating frozen thawed pinky mice so that whoever buys these has an easier time finding food for them because tiny, tiny chicks or cutting off legs of dead chicks would be difficult. Yes. So we always try to get them on frozen thawed rodents first. I would guess oh in the gosh. wild they eat lizards at this age. Probably, yeah. But you don't just... want to do that either, because that's even worse. That's also difficult to find, <laughs> yeah. So they're very slender snakes, as you can see, and this indicates an arboreal or tree-dwelling species, and they sure enough do spend a lot of time climbing. So for their baby bins, we are going to incorporate some sticks for them to climb and kind of coil around. But oh my gosh, they're so tiny. We have a yearling from last year's clutch who is considerably larger than these yeah. freshly hatched babies. I didn't realize they were that small. I yeah. thought he was still small. But... Yeah. Nope. But Ours has definitely grown bigger than these. We have baby bins all set up. We added, like I said, some sticks to climb on. They can like coil up and perch. We don't have our baby hides here though because they're all at the new snake house. So I kind of had to make do with what we had and then maybe I'll swap out the hides on the warm end later these on. These will probably be moving to the snake house here relatively soon. That's but... true. Yeah, we're probably just gonna move all these and yeah, we'll take care of them at the new snake house. Yeah. So that's where babies are gonna go from now on. It's awesome. But look at these. 
these, oh, look at how just block, I, I just can't get over how blocky their heads are. I think it's so goofy. And they're so long and slender and those little stripes. And you know what? We should show you their parents so you can see how the stripes really develop around the body as they age and mature because these stripes are very tiny, very almost unnoticeable compared to the parents. So let's put these in their baby bins first though. Here's one baby, two babies, no. three babies. Stop it. And four babies. Great, all the babies. Look at them, our baby mangroves. So, oh Some my gosh. are more well behaved than others. Yeah, they're very explorative and just want to go, go, go. I like go. this one. Yeah, that one stays pretty well. Yeah, Look these, at that. These, these two suck. This <laughs> one's all right. Oh, they are so cute. My goodness. All right, let's put them in the baby rack before they escape too much. All right, they're going to keep trying to escape, so yeah, we're just going mine's, to... Mine's already escaping. Yeah, we're no. just... Emily, help. Okay. Throw them back in. Here you go. I'll take yours. Right, perfect. Thank you. Okay, got one. Oh, babies are pains already. Yeah, they are, but it's okay. At least they're not biting, I guess. That's true, they're so cute. They, they can, can get away with works. it. Three, and last but not least, number four. There we go. Great. They're all in. They're all in. We, we did didn't it. We lose any. Whew. Can you imagine there were like 16? Oh my gosh, I'm glad we only have four. So here is their dad. Their mom isn't as friendly, so. Her mom's a jerk. We're just gonna let her sit in her corner. She's, she's up in her corner. That's her favorite she's spot. She's <laughs> she, well, I didn't wake her up purposefully because yeah, she'd be very angry if I she'd woke be her up. Striking and hissing and striking yes. and striking. But the dad here is actually pretty well mannered. He likes to climb a lot, but again, they're arboreal. That's just what they do. Yep. He's a good size too. Yeah, he's probably six, five, six feet. Probably about five feet. Yes, yeah, something like oh. that. But yeah, do you see what I mean about the stripes? Like you could barely notice the stripes on the Super babies. Pronounced. Yeah. They don't go all the way around though. They don't. You're right. Actually, I never. I thought they did, but you're right. They do start just below the. Uh, spine. But yeah, definitely more contrast when they're adults than when they're babies. How weird that those eggs, like, we didn't even see any babies on the inside when we first cut them yeah, six just, weeks like, ago. Goop, it looked like. Yeah, and but when we put them back, they never still hatched, but they didn't really rot out completely. They kind of did. So we were just like, well, we're not using it for anything else. So yeah, might as, well. may as well let them sit in the incubator until we know for sure they're duds. And yeah, like I showed you guys, we had moved this video into the failed slash abandoned and videos folder because we didn't think anything was going to come of it. But lo and behold, they decided to hatch on their own just when they were ready. So that was pretty cool today. Also, uh -huh. Curly... Look at, look at Denise. Oh, Denise the Menace. Yeah. Previously and, Dennis the Menace. And Curly Fry. Yeah. They're also doing... active. Yeah, everybody's out today. Look at that. But we officially have more mangrove babies. Yes. Very excited. Uh, once they are hopefully all eating, then I don't think we need to hold back any of those babies. We already have our hold back, so we'll, we'll probably be rehoming the we'll remainders. I guess it depends on if Ed wants to keep yeah. any of them. But it's awesome to have some captive bred baby mangrove snakes from our originally wild caught adults, but that's why we got this pair, <laughs> was so that we could breed them. And we were successful! This is fantastic! That's twice now. Twice now! It's awesome! So thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you Patreon backers for your amazing support as always. I hope you liked our little surprise post on Patreon when these guys hatched. And yeah, I guess I'll put him back. Yeah, I guess. Thank you, Dad. Uh, and thank you. Thank you, Mom. I mean, yeah, still we, thank we you to her. We still do need you for this. So. Yes, yes. But we'll leave you alone. Aww, thank you, everybody, and we'll see you next time.